We're in Albufeira for the Farmese International Congress, and we are really glad to have the chance to meet with Farmese President Fabio Franchina and Farmese North America Presidents Denis Katauchik to have an insight on the industry from two different perspectives. Here in Portugal, Farmese managed to gather over 800 guests from all over the world. Mr. Franchina, there's so much more than hair fashion in such an event. How has Formesi succeeded in keeping its clients so close to the company during the last two years? Well, uh, it's, uh, it's such a pleasure to be in a wonderful location like Albufeira with uh, more than 800 guests and friends that decided to join us in this wonderful event. One of the key elements, one of the key pillars in, in our business is the, the idea of sharing uh, uh, experience, uh, sharing uh, visions, and, and working together in order to create the, the main concept that still remain uh, the better beauty. How we can do it? We can do it through uh, a large presentation with different ideas where people, who are hairdressers basically, can, uh, can pick whatever they believe could be useful for their own business. So it's not just a matter of uh, a see a presentation of a new collection or a new hairstyle, but keep ideas in order to take a, a possible tool home in their own salon to start and make a new business that's going to be more successful for them. The key element for Framiz is the mission of Framiz is still working with for the success of the hairdresser. And I believe that this, uh, this wonderful event, uh, such kind of event that we do, still represent uh, a major support for this idea. We need to help the hairdresser to be more successful, and the only way to do it is to have a new idea, new creativity, new tool that they can help them to improve their own business on a daily basis. Mr. Katauchik, how has the pandemic affected the professional hair care industry in the U.S. market, and how has Formese reacted to support hairdressers in North America? This question is, is asked quite frequently. Uh, we seem, we hope, that we are at the end of the pandemic. And so now we can, with hindsight, uh, see what happened. Uh, the, you gotta remember that the pandemic, when it started, we had no idea where it was going. We didn't know whether we were ever gonna be able to open up our shops. You gotta go back and put yourself back in March of 2020. When it, when it first rolled through Europe and the United States, the, uh, the virus, uh, it was scary. Our, 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 our hairdressers were scared. Our, our, our people were scared. The, the, the countries were scared. And what we ended up trying to do is work around and with hairdressers and with our partner, Mr. Franchina in Italy, to be able to bring the best possible solutions to the hairdressers. Plastic capes, uh, 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 formulas for, for hairdressers to, to be able to simplify, sim simplify and use, uh, uh, contributions, direct contributions to, to, uh, to, to people that were having a difficult time keeping their doors open. And the relief that occurred whenever the, uh, the, the, the first wave uh, disappeared was, was great. And we saw this big surge, this large surge of, 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 of services required for all that pent up demand. And it, it, and it kind of reinforced our, our hope and our, and our, and our desires that, that as a society, we will withstand the problems that the, the pandemic brought. Uh, so at the end of the day, it, it, and it hopefully will be, something on a temporary basis that we will then be able to continue to uh, do as Mr. Franchina said, that Fabio has said, to uh, bring about better beauty for the customers uh, with our great hairdressers. Mr. Franchina, has this shift brought a major change also from a consumer point of view? As Mr. Katauchik, as Danny said before, uh, the pandemic was uh, not only a, a tremendous tragedy, but was uh, a major change in the way of living of people. And anytime, anytime there is a big change, uh, usually uh, this forces a big change of the habits of everybody. 
Uh, we have seen that technology, for example, pick up dramatically. So people say that in three months we basically got 10 years of a normal evolution. Uh, we have seen a new service that we never, we never used before, so everything is now commonly received home. We don't need to go and buy food, but food comes home. So a lot of things change. One of the main, I believe, things that really dramatically change uh, the vision of the consumer is that they spend a lot of time, and they are still doing, checking on this wonderful digital tool that is usually the telephone or whatever they use uh, on a daily basis. And when you check and you want to know everything in deep about whatever you're going to do, it could be a new restaurant to try, it could be a new location, it could be a new car, and why not, it could be the hairdresser. Well, this really modifies the way of thinking. People want to know more. The uh, consumer are much more deep in knowledge and they want to spend money in a better way. The smart shopper became the only shopper available today. So people want to know exactly how they want to spend money. That doesn't mean that they want to save money. They want to spend money in the best way possible in order to get the maximum result possible. So more knowledge, more information, and more uh, uh, focus on intelligent way of spending money. Mr. Katauchik, during the event we've talked about beauty as a tool of self-expression. Has the pandemic reshaped the concept of beauty? That's a question that... Uh uh, only time will, will answer. Um, has the pandemic changed our cultural value of how beauty is perceived? Um, in, in, in our opinion, um, there's, there's the concept that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, that it, it's, it's a relative term. Uh, we tend to think as beauty exists everywhere and that beauty is absolute, um, that, that, that beauty will, will outlast everything as, as our species continues to, to move forward culturally. And I don't think that this, this moment of, of, of pandemic, <clears throat> pandemic change will alter that progression over the time spectrum uh, that we live our lives. Uh, you know, in, in, in essence, beauty in and of itself uh, has value. It has value in a sense of how we feel good. It has value in a sense on how uh, hairdressers are able to learn and through their repetition and, and continual education provide um, their customers with their vision of beauty and assist them in their, their growth and their self-esteem. Mr. Franchina, let us turn our gaze to the future. How do you picture from his client's future and from a wider point of view, the one of the hairdressers? I think that uh, we have a great news to share. The great news is that uh, the role of the, hair of the hairdresser will not change in the future. So despite of whatever can change, uh, all the revolution, all the evolution, or whatever you want to name it, the hairdresser still remain in his role. And I believe that the hairdresser more and more going to have a crucial role for the future of the beauty of the consumer. We need to remember that the first thing that everybody, we are every single morning, before even picking whatever going to come out of, the, out of the, 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 the wood box, so out of the, of the garment side, is what we wear on the hair. And the hair makes a major difference. So a better beauty idea will still remain, and the role of the hairdresser will be still to be the only beauty consultant available for the self-esteem of the consumer. Because remember, beauty is not just beauty for itself. If you need to live a better life, uh, especially in relation with other people, you need to feel good by yourself first. And the only way to do it is try to see something beautiful in front of the mirror. And very often, this starts from your hair. So uh, the hairdresser is going to have a crucial role in the future and uh, providing quality, providing great experience, memorable experience as a salon. I think that if the hairdresser will react properly, I believe that this business not only will survive, but will be a key pillar in the world of beauty.